of sorts whose favorite pastime seems to be the post itself. There is one person in Oberussel, Germany, that could tell you the full history of Camp King, Franz Geidosch. Franz has documented this post since World War II and before. From the first days, from 1936, this area here was an experimental farm. 1939 even. A part of the area was occupied by the German Luftwaffe and they built up a, a PW camp. All the pilots, they got shot down over Europe, you see. They came here for interrogation. There was the so-called Dulac Luft. It was the Auswärtsstelle West. It was an intelligent uh, area here. Because the German army, there was an intelligent post, and the, intelligent, the American intelligence moved in here. And the Colonel King, he was a G2, you know, and he got killed at the invasion in France. And so, therefore, because there was a, an, an intelligent post in the German, from the German, and then an intelligent post by the American army, and Colonel King was an intelligent officer, so to honor him, so they named the post in Camp King. Soon it will be the end of Camp King. The post will be returned to the German government. At the moment, it's unknown what will happen to this area or the buildings on Camp King. Franz has his own opinion. They should, they should keep it, you know, but... Before Camp King existed in Oberussel, Germany, this small area was used in an, as, as an experimental agriculture farm. During World War II, it was occupied by the German army and was known as interrogation camp Dulag Luft. When the Americans took over the post in 1947, it was renamed Camp King. This year, Camp King will be returned to the German government. Americans have been at Camp King for 46 years. In September, they will leave. When Camp King was first designated, it was primarily an intelligence post. Now, the 22nd Signal Brigade is headquartered here, but not for long. On May 27th, Camp King will bid farewell to the remaining units on post. Headquarters 22nd Signal Brigade uh, will move to Darmstadt. The uh, first transportation movement control agency is already in the process of moving to Kaiserslautern. Uh, JITMA, GTMA, is moving to Stuttgart and a small computer unit 36 DPU which at the moment belongs to 102nd uh, uh, signal battalion they are the only one with about 20-25 soldiers who will inactivate. In September Camp King will be returned to the German government all except the housing units and some of the shopping buildings which the Air Force took over April 1st. People uh, uh, moving from Rhein Main uh, Air Base here to Camp King gradually as soon as an apartment is vacated by an army family. The farewell celebration May 27th is for Camp King service members and civilians only. Like any farewell, it's a private affair. It may be the end of 46 years for Camp King, but the 46 years of memories and friendships built on this post will last forever. From the Fifth Corps Public Affairs Office, Diana Dawa for AFN News.